Okay, so this is gonna be a bit of a DIY sort of video. I'm basically installing this paper background roll system. I've got a black one, and then I've also got this orange one, which is quite a nice color, actually. I've also ordered a white paper background, but that was out of stock, so it's on its way soon. So I don't think you'll be on this video if you don't know what it is I'm gonna be doing. But it's basically like a three-tier paper background drop. It's this system by Newer, I think that's how you say it. New Newer. It's quite cheap, it's only 50 pound for the three-roll system. You can either wall mount it or ceiling mount it, which is what I'm gonna be doing. So yeah, this is what you need. So let me explain why you might need a saw. So essentially the, the gap I need to fill in the studio, the, the width of my paper background, I need to make it 180 centimeters because any wider and it's not gonna be able to fit in between the two desks I've got in here. But the paper backdrop rolls, they come in, uh, what is it, two meters? No, 270, wow. Hence the saws. If you're gonna be cutting your paper roll, you really wanna be using a meter saw. So yeah, the whole way through this video, I say meter instead of mitre. Sorry about that, I don't know much about DIY and this is all quite new for me, but it's, I mean to say mitre. The finish will be much smoother than a hacksaw. I'm gonna test that and show you now. I, 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 I can't justify spending like 200 pounds on a meter saw, I have to get a decent one, I don't wanna get a crap one. Freaks me out, I don't know, blades spinning around and all that. So I'm gonna try the hacksaw now. Fingers crossed it looks all right. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not, but it's not really the finish that I want permanently on the, on the edge. I think I can hear a meter saw outside though, so I'm gonna go and ask those guys. Okay, the lesson there, don't use a circular saw either. Otherwise you might get a finish like this. I should have asked them to do a test cut, man. You can always do a test. But... Okay, so one thing that you really wanna keep in mind and it's really important. You absolutely need to put either an aluminium, an, anim, an aluminium tube like this in the middle of your paper roll. If you don't do this, the paper roll will sag a lot in the middle and you don't want that. Especially if you're not using it frequently enough, yeah, it's gonna bend. So you need something stronger in the middle like this aluminium tube. See how thin that is? It's really light aluminium. Light but strong. Now, you might notice there's a, a little gap around this edge here. Obviously, that's not gonna work very well when you're trying to pull the paper down. So you need to put some sort of gaffer around here to grip the paper roll properly. Ow. Yes. These COVID haircuts are wild. Okay, so, so, so the next thing I wanted to do, I basically want to put these into the paper roll, paper rolls, because I want to make sure the distance that I drill the hooks into the ceiling are as accurate as possible, because obviously if that's wrong, that's going to be a problem. And for those that don't know, the, the way this works is, as you screw this, this plastic bit basically goes further in and pulls out the white bits, which makes them expand like this, which grips onto the aluminium pole. Okay, not too tight, hand tight is good. Okay, so something I've just noticed, which is quite a good design to be fair. On the, on the end of this, there's actually an adjustment here. So, so there is a bit of give as to where your other hook is, because I was really worried it had to be very precise, but here I can make sure the one is where I want it and then the other, the other hook can have a little bit, of, little bit of play in it. So I'm not too worried about that now, which is good news. Well done, newer. Newer, newer, newer. My ladder might be too small to reach the ceiling. This is, this is gonna be interesting. 
I need a longer leveler, so. So that was, I'm just measuring it all up. And this is really boring stuff to talk about, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but just measure it good. Okay, so I've, I've figured out a place where I need to put my first set of hooks. And I'm gonna drill that in now, so, so I can easily measure from that point to where I need to put the other hooks on the other side of the wall. So you gotta get this right, because there's only one shot, really. And I'm a bit worried. Can you imagine if someone knocked on the door and actually came in when I'm wearing this? Crazy. Okay. That's one out of eight. Oh, yeah, yes. I've got to be honest, this isn't, this isn't really my sort of area, this drilling stuff, this is, Dave does this. This isn't, this, yeah. This could be the thumbnail. I like it. I've got a meeting at five o'clock as well, so I'm a bit. Okay, so yeah, it's, uh, it's day two. This isn't really a two day job, but I think I'm only one man, so. Maybe it's maybe it's two for one person, I don't know. Yesterday I managed to get this one hook on the wall, so I've just got the other one to put on today. If, if you are drilling into concrete as well, it, don't underestimate the amount of dust. It's quite shocking and it goes everywhere. Like all surfaces that are visible. And if you imagine trying to clean out a box like this or like clear the dust from something with inside of this, I don't have my face mask today either, I forgot it, so it's gonna have to be... Mm. Let's do this! Do that. Dyson. That's done. I can only do, um, what was I gonna say? Th those screws are bit, I wanna say bitch, but I wanna bleep it out. <laughs> as you're tightening the nut on the one side, the screw's going around as well. So it, it just doesn't really, yeah, it's, I don't really wanna go into the fittings too much, even though it was quite a big part of the installation. From what I've seen online, uh, concrete ceiling insulation is one of the more rarer uses for the paper backgrounds. Um, so I guess just YouTube, whichever thing you want to use and however you, I don't know, however you're screwing it in, I <laughs> don't know, that just sounds weird, however you, uh. Next step is to put the paper roll onto the hooks, which is the fun bit. We can pull it down. I might need to handle that, Lottie. I'm excited to see the orange one. That's the only one I got. Oh. There's, there's two hooks on there, one for wall mount, one for ceiling mount. So this one we want to use. Ceiling mat. This is where the clips come in handy because at the moment the paper is like rolling back up, so we're just going to put some clips along the bottom to keep it weighted down. Simple as that. So this is it. The uh, first pulling down of the. Yeah, just get on with it. Oh my, god. oh my god. Oh my god, there's a hole in it. Shut up. There we go. <gasps> it's amazing. Oh, look at that. I mean, I, it's not that wide. It's quite long. But, I have to stand like this. I need to do Instagram content. Okay, and there you go. Might need to work on the lighting a little bit. It's not very Pete McKinnon at the moment. I hope that was useful to some extent. I've got quite a lot of other studio improvements that I want to do, um, so be sure to subscribe and that if you want to see those. Okay, so ends. End it. Just end the video. Cut. <laughs> okay, so it's about three weeks later and I've got the three paper rolls installed. I just thought I'd show you the results before I post the video. Pretty quick, actually. 
And then I can just tuck these away behind this clamp here so they're nice and out of the way. 